Hi, and welcome back to It Figures. Tonight, I have a review of a Pop Games figure, and that is D.Va with Mika. And this is from the game Overwatch. Now, that Funko went above and beyond with this figure. Um, it's hard to even see what it all it looks like inside of this plastic container, but we will open it here soon. This is probably the biggest Funko figure I own. It's one of those oversized ones. Here on the back you can see some of the other figures that are in the game Overwatch. Personally, I love D.Va. I think she is awesome in the game. And I cannot wait to open this thing up and take a look at her in more detail. So let's do that right now. So obviously this is a very large pink mech that she is in. <laughs> And the detail in the game on this is really great, and I think Funko just brought it with this figure. There's so much stuff here to look at, it's really hard just to sit here and try to take it all in. There's stuff everywhere on this figure. You can see it has a sticker here, and it says Mika, the mobile X-Force of the Korean Army, is what it says here on the bottom. And here on the back, again, it has more stickers on, whoop, let me get up here. Let me get up here on top so you can see. Uh, this is a big figure too. It's, it's really, really large. And here is some writing. And on the back here it says Champion Esports. <laughs> and there's a fighting sticker up here. And over here on the side is Blizzard Entertainment. And another sticker here. So, I mean, again, this, there's stuff all over this thing. And the back looks just as cool as the front. As you can see, she has two massive gr guns out front. That's you know part of the of her weapons on, on the mech, obviously. And if you look up here, here is Diva actually inside of the mech. And I believe her name is Diva. I don't think the mech's name is Diva. She might I haven't played the game in such a long time. She might be Mika. And and the actual mech is Diva. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know which one's which. But that's that's the character in here inside the mech. And this lid actually opens up, as you can see. And here she is, and she does come out, and she's a very tiny figure. Her head does not rotate uh, like the other Funko figures, but she does have some headphones on, or I guess they must be, you know, something to do with the mech. And, you know, for a small figure like this, it's pretty well detailed. I think they did a really good job with her. Inside the cockpit here, there is no electronics or anything. She just basically fits inside of there. Just to get you a better view here, you can see there's really nothing in there. All right, well, let's put her back in there now. And she sits in there pretty well. I mean, um, she don't really go anywhere. We can get her back in there. There we go. And that pretty much holds her in place. Just to take a little bit more closer look at the figure here, you can see the really just cool design they have here for the legs. And again, here on the back, it has a couple jets. It has the two pointed down here and has, you know, the two right here. The thing about this figure though, it's just like a lot of the pop stuff, there's zero articulation except for this here. Nothing else moves on the mech. The arms don't move, legs don't move, nothing moves. I mean, it would be pretty cool to have it posed and you could, you know, actually pose the guns or the feet or make it look like it's walking somewhere. But again, if you collect Funko, you know that just doesn't happen. One thing I like about this figure is, even though it's mostly all pink, there are different shades of pink. You can see the darker pink there, some of the lighter pink. They also have some white, some green, some silver in there as well. So overall, this is just a cool looking mech. And from a great game, if you've never played Overwatch, I highly recommend you give it a chance. I just wish it did have some articulation. I wasn't expecting any from Funko, except for the hood opening and closing. I didn't even expect that, to tell you the truth. Um, and, but again, that's Funko. That's sort of the downfall of these figures from them, is they're really cool figures, and some of these are great detailed ones like this one. There is no movement. You can't move anything. <laughs> so if you like this review, and if you have friends who love action figures, please Make sure you tell them about this channel and subscribe yourself if you haven't because I want to see you next time on It Figures.